Yo. It's time. Sylvie has arrived. Since I drove this car last week, I could not stop thinking about it. Hey, check your car. Oh, yeah. Freaking mind blown, bruh. Mind freaking blown. <laughs> this car looks crazy. It doesn't even fit in out here. Like, hello. Kind of just want to sit in here for a bit and admire. This is so great. I can't even believe this shit. <laughs> How you like that Cali air, baby? No humidity. First mod, we gotta get rid of the shift knob, bruh. <laughs> I have my Mishimoto one. I hope that it fits. I should I have a couple different adapters because this shift knob is not the move. Yeah, it should fit for sure. And this boot thing is like broken, so I need to figure something out. Let me roll the window down, just, hmm. Look at that beautiful ass car. I'm gonna be back for you. How we doing today? How we doing? And that is that a scat pack? So, like I said, uh, when I picked up the S15, the wheels gotta go. <laughs> um, yeah. S15 with the revs. Nah, fam, that just ain't gonna work. I'm not gonna lie, though, they don't look bad on the car. I mean, the car's real, so it makes the wheels look real, too, but they're real fake. Is that a done? They're work VS reps. Um, the VS has never really been, like, my style kind of wheel. Um, I think, like, if they have, like, a really deep dish, they look pretty good, but I never really cared for them too much, so... So, those wheels are definitely getting disqualified. Um, their monthly subscription has ended. <laughs> Like I said before, I find most of my wheels on uh, Facebook, uh, Marketplace, Craigslist, OfferUp, or kind of just like word of mouth. I pretty much find anything I'm looking for nine times out of 10. But for some reason, for some odd reason, I could not find anything for this car. Yeah, I couldn't find any T's, I couldn't find any Meisters, I couldn't find any Avans I liked. I'm like, bruh. So I guess I'll just keep looking and when something pops up, I'll probably cop it. Cause um, right now, like if I was to order a set of tees, bruh, it wouldn't come for like probably four months, honestly. So ain't nobody got time for that. I'm pretty sure within the next month or two, like some wheels will pop up. Um, you already know me, T gang. I don't know why I repped them so much. They never sponsored me or gave me a dollar off any tees, but I like my tees. <laughs> so, um, so temporarily, wow, I picked up some RPF1s. Can't go wrong with RPF1s, bro. I definitely rather have RPF ones on my S15 over XXR reps. <laughs> no cap. So uh, yeah, we're gonna rock these for a bit. Um, I did all the spec measurements and tire size, everything in my head. It should fit pretty damn good. It should be nice and fitted. If anything, it might be a tad too aggressive in the front. That ain't nothing we can't fix. So once I see how these wheels and the tires fit, um, I'm probably gonna lower it a little bit more, maybe a quarter inch, half an inch. I definitely want that poke, slam, stretch look on that car. It just, it just looks too damn good. So I actually haven't announced the car yet. <laughs> so nobody really knows what I got. So I posted this yesterday. Um, new car reveal in four minutes. <laughs> Let's go. Let me see how many likes the M2 got when I did everything to it. Yeah, look, bow, 61,000 likes. The M2 hit. That was actually, I think, the most likes I ever gotten on anything on my Instagram. So for this S15, I'm predicting at least like 75, 80K likes. Like it has to, bro. it has to. That's like the biggest car that's been on my channel. It might not be the most expensive car, but it's the, definitely the most rarest car that's been on my channel. So this is big for me. Like I really, 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 really like that car. I never really talked about them much, but it's like when there's a car that's you can't really get imported or you can't get your hands on it. It's like, you're not gonna talk about it too much, you know? God sent me that car right before my birthday, man. Everything worked out. It's crazy, I can't. I still can't believe I have it. There it is. 
Yeah, it's a decent little stretch. Should be enough just to get that fit me right. Looks good. What's new on the M2? You guys tell? It's not a damn thing, just some stickers. <laughs> Finally got the stickers on there. It looks a lot better, it makes the wheel pop more. So I still have my KW adjustable uh, springs. I'm just like, I don't really care to throw them on, but I just want to go, you know, like a quarter inch lower. Just tuck the wheel a little bit, make it look a little better. I don't really care. <laughs> I don't really care, this shit looks good daily boys but i definitely do want to go just a tad bit lower but uh, i'll probably do everything when the exhaust comes and then i'll get out get all that installed and we'll just go from there but goddamn, bro it is hot jesus why bro man holy hot bro it is 108 <laughs> we're getting some vegas weather right now in cali Hot as hell, man. I don't even want to do this shit right now, but any time of the week, I will slave for a car in the heat. <laughs> Gotta get these wheels on. So, uh, yeah. These are some XXRs. I mean, honestly, they really don't look that bad, but we just, you know, we can't do that. Not not in this car. I just, it's, it's disrespectful. Obviously, I tried to fit my T37 on there. <laughs> uh, that's 18, 10 and a half plus 22. I put an 8 mil spacer and it still hit the coil, like, and the wheel was sticking out, like, right here. <laughs> so, I mean, with maybe a 15 mil or a 20 mil, could probably make it work, but I would have to camber that, like, nasty. It would be just straight Japan-style camber, like, nah. That, that's out, fam. We're not doing that. So, after I throw this on, I'm gonna see how much room I have to play with to go lower. Hopefully, I can get it to, like, a nice slam height without revving. The back uh, should fit pretty good on the back. But I do want to go a little bit lower in the back as well. So we're going to slap these on and see how they fit. Bro, this is crazy. This thing is still super freaking close to the coil. It is so close. It's already poking pretty decent. So I don't have much room to throw a spacer. But maybe like a little 3 mil will work. But let me drop this and see how it looks. Damn, man. S chassis, boys. She ain't got no room. <laughs> like this wheel right here is an eight and a half, bro. And it was low key fitted. Like that's weak sauce. It's all good. We're gonna make this shit fit though. Definitely it's not gonna rub, but I have to go lower, for sure, for sure. I really don't have much room to run a spacer. Um, I would just have to go more stretch, which I already bought the tires, so I don't wanna do that. But um, I think I'm just gonna max this coil out. It doesn't go too low. It should be like a perfect height, and then that should give me a little more clearance above the collar ring. Um, if not, I guess I'll just play with the camber, but I gotta make this shit fit. Bam, there it is, max that shit out. <laughs> so these are um, ISC coilovers. They actually look fairly new, honestly, I could tell. They probably don't even have 500 miles on them. They don't seem to go that little maxed out, so um, it should be a decent height. I'm like actually mind blown that this is not fitting with a decent amount of clearance. <laughs> so I maxed it, but as you can hear, it's grinding a little bit. And it's not even the, it's not even the tire, it's the rim. So like the stretch is cool, it's really just the rim. <sighs> but I think once it's on the floor in a five mil spacer, it would probably work. But I don't have that much room. <laughs> God damn, man. Why is this shit being a headache? Sheesh. That fitment though. But um, yeah, I need to camber it for sure. I think a five mil spacer and some camber, tits. Houston, we have a problem. So I don't know what happened over here, but one of the lugs worked. Um, yeah, one of these worked, but the rest of them, 
it's the only lock I have. It looks like those used to be one of these, but they decided to change the whole pattern. Damn, man, now I gotta go to the Bato Zone. It's only some shit. Damn, wheels barely fit in. Can't get the lugs off in the back. It's hot as shit. 12 hours later. Here we go. Finally found one that works. Bam. 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 Man, I got some new looks. Son of a bitch. That was just like a waste of like 45 minutes. Alright. Put everything on. Um I have a I have room to go a little bit lower, but I'ma leave it because the front is maxed out and it's really not that low. As you can see. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of the rear of the car being lower than the front. It kind of looks like a metal militia truck. <laughs> I'm not really for that. I like to. I like my ride height to look pretty even. Oh, and then another problem I ran into. <laughs> when I got all of these lugs off, all the studs look pretty OEM. So uh, when I tried to put the new lugs on, they weren't threading on. And the old lugs weren't threading on either. So I pretty much had no choice but to just impact that shit on. So. Those are done, so I'm probably only going to be able to take this wool off one time before I need to change all the studs. Oof, look at that. All cleaned up. This car is really, really clean. I haven't done, you know, no paint correction, nothing like that. But the paint's in really, really good shape. Like, I don't see one door ding on this side. Not one dent. Not one door ding or dent on this side. It's crazy really really good condition so problem uh the rear seems fine that's fitting this side seems like it's good this side is still hitting the coil like nasty like i barely made it over here and it was only like it was only like 100 yards <laughs> like obviously the tow camber the whole suspension in the front's out of whack right now because i changed it i right, let you hear it it just sounds terrible <laughs> it's just definitely grinding nasty on the coil guys I think it's good I don't know if you can see maybe you can see that let me try to get a good angle um yeah I can see the fitment literally it's about I want to say three millimeters so I maxed the camber out on top and I added a five mil spacer and it's like clearing by like <laughs> it's clearing by literally that much so I think it will be good like this. I'm um, just obviously gonna line me and get the toe adjusted. But um, I think it might be right. But only concern now is rubbing because uh, it's pretty fitted. So I'm gonna drive it, see how it does like this. See how bad it rubs. If it's cool, it's cool. If not, I think I might be able to raise it just a tad and uh, we should clear. And I noticed I didn't have my spec art emblem, so that was a must. Have to have that, bro. That's original and it looks really clean. As, as many cars that are out there, there's not a lot of cars that have emblems right here. That's pretty sick. We got both sides. I tried to match it as best I can. I just used some measuring tape. I think it looks pretty even, but that looks good. If this thing drives good and it doesn't rub too bad in the front, I'm gonna be so happy. <laughs> guys uh, the car seems pretty solid um, no rubbing as far as normal driving I mean I haven't driven it on the freeway yet so I know it's gonna rub on some hard dips but as far as normal normal driving it's cool then my boost controller stopped working so I'm not trying to boost the car hard safe mode or something because it definitely feels slower I'm just happy the damn wheels fit bro the fitment between the rim and the coilover it's like the tip of a pencil shit is crazy guys oh shit I see cops not good gotta stay away from those guys all right peep 
think we good. As far as normal driving is cool. No rubbing, not hitting nothing. Fitman is A1. <laughs> Bro, this car is so beautiful. This is crazy. I can't believe it. Well, guys, she is good, ready to go. Fitman sauce. She is drivable, so I'm gonna hit the little cars and coffee tomorrow. I'm definitely gonna try to head home by like 11 though, because it's gonna be so hot. <laughs> This damn SR are gonna blow the hell up with that one ass fan. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. Catch you in the next video.